Alt 92.3's Not So Silent Nights. Kevin Kenny on Alt 92.3. Kane hanging out, of course. What's up? Say something, Kane. It's radio. They can't <laughs> see you. And then Dom from Muse stopping by with an amazing sweater that, again, you can't see because it's radio. Hey, how's it going? How are you, man? Uh, when did you get into town? Uh, not yesterday, day before. So what is it, Tuesday today? Okay. I've gone lunch. I'm know. lost. Yeah, it's so a player. It's Thursday. Oh, of course, it's Thursday. It's my birthday tomorrow. Is it? What are you doing? And that's Friday. Oh, well, no, you don't lead with what are you doing. you got to say happy birthday first. <laughs> happy <laughs> birthday. No, this is not a hospitable uh, radio station. <laughs> what are you doing? Tell me, Dom. Um, we're going to go and hang around, do some very New York-y things tomorrow. Well, I don't know, walk around, go up to what the is park. That? Go up to the park, okay. I think. Um, probably try and do some Christmas shopping. Okay. Try and get it's some It's expensive done. in New York. It is, yeah. All right. Really? Who are you talking oh. to? <laughs> well, I don't know if we is. can afford this. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Only about to headline the Barclay Center. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, I don't know, we're going we're gonna to go and have some food, hang out, and, you know, hang about in New York. Very cool. All yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, can I get into, like, just what the, like, the question I really want to ask you? I love the song Something Human. Oh, nice. Because I think it's a very transparent song, and I think it's a very vulnerable song. And I think it's kind of a side of the business that, uh, not to sound too insidey, but uh, you don't really hear about it. I think you guys beautifully tell that line of sort of telling that story. Of how hard the road can be. Um, yeah, I mean, let, let, let's let, let's be straight. We're not like complaining about going no. out and doing gigs. <laughs> no, <laughs> of course, because it's because that's great. But um, yeah, I mean, that song is it's just it, you know it is what it is. It's kind of about missing people at home, missing home a bit, you know, being away from home and, and just kind of dealing with those feelings, really. But um, which you know anyone can feel, obviously, if they spend time away from home. So yeah, it's a simple kind of love song, really. But um. You know, we, we haven't really done a song like that for us. And also, e even just in the way it sounds, it's quite different for us as well. So we kind of wanted to approach it because it felt quite different. I'm glad you cleared that up because I remember, Kane, when we were going over the acts and you guys brought up Muse as a potential headliner, I said, guys, I don't know if we should book them. Have you, did you hear something human? I don't think they'd be into it. I'm joking. <laughs> of course. Uh, well, I mean, and it's got an 80s sort of sound, sort of lean sort of vibe to this whole album too, right? Videos too. Yeah, how that thing? I guess um, something you wanted to do for a while. Do you love eighties music? I mean, this is um, well, it wasn't really the eighties music that necessarily inspired us. We, we were kind of in the studio, and um, I think yeah, we, we we kind of had this big screen, like a big projection screen set up in the studio. And as we were kind of making the songs, we were just playing a bunch of um, you know old sci-fi movies and stuff like that, like Alien and Blade Runner. Just as like a vibe, like a visual vibe thing in the background, and okay. I think some of that kind of came out in the uh, in in the actual sound of the record, really. And yeah, you know, plus we were like just messing around with a bunch of like vintage like synthesizers, and uh, you know, and those are just so like obviously characterful of of that particular per period of time in music. So, um, do you love a lot of those bands from that era? Like, who, who do you who do you dig? Um, Depeche. I'm gonna peg you for Depeche. Yeah, I mean, I like them, but I mean, when I was growing up, I mean, I was like a kid in the 80s, so I mean, I was into like Police, Queen. Okay. I suppose that's a bit 70s. Uh, speaking of the 80s, uh, the Billboard Alternative Songs chart started in whatever 25 years ago was, or 35 years ago was. I can't yeah. do math, but it was the 1980s it started. Yeah. Now, I don't know, I'm sure you guys heard, but uh, Uprising was the n is still the number one alternative songs chart song or alternative hit if you whatever billboard wants to call it of all time for the genre and i'm sure that's just kind of like geeky speak that like you can't even quantify but like how does that feel like your band has the biggest by the numbers in terms of popularity sales radio all this stuff right. how does it feel like just to think about that of all the alternative songs that have come yeah. out in history uprising's number one yeah well it's mental and i think that song madness did pretty well as well yeah because that i've heard of it yeah because that was that was number one for nineteen weeks, which is nuts wow. on on wow. that chart. Yeah, and then uh, just to blow my own trumpet here, and uh, I think Foo Fighters have got one of their songs like Pretender or something. It's eight, okay. eighteen, and I think Uprising's like seventeen weeks. But it's you know it's just yeah it's insane. I mean, but it's a nice record to <laughs> to have, I guess. Right. Uh, since the history of the chart, but yeah, it's nuts. But uh, you know. I don't know. Uprising's one of those songs that's you know we we played it every single gig since we you know wrote the song and uh and it's always a highlight of the set you know it's always like one of the biggest sing-alongs in the in in you know the first chorus in in any show we play so i mean it's great it's amazing it's still a, a fun amazing song to play live right why so do you still do this what why do you still do this 
You got the number one well, song of all time in the, in, <laughs> in the genre. I mean, you're like you're world famous. Your band's one of the biggest acts of of all time for the for the music we're talking about. Why still do this? Um, rather than just like give up and call it a day because we did. Yeah, why don't you just go <laughs> shopping in New York like you're gonna do tomorrow? <laughs> I don't know because you know we uh, you kind of you make an album you go on tour for a while and you like uh, and you know you write a song like something human you're like oh, I really need like a break for a bit and then you have like you know a couple of weeks off and you're like looking at your watch and like staring at the wall going why don't we make some music you know so that feeling of just naturally wanting to create and make music is just something that uh, never goes away really yeah. you know r- regardless of any kind of success or anything like that it's something that we're probably always going to want to do. And Certainly have done to you know up to today. So um, because we love it, man. Yeah. That's why because it's fun. Yeah. Well, you got about fifteen thousand people out there that <laughs> are very happy. You still love it. So do you ever get the Brandon from the Killers? Have I ever spoken to him? No. Do you ever? Do people ever think you're him? Oh, do, oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Sometimes. Thank you, thank Girls you on Twitter to from Killers. I yeah. see that now, dude. You gotta you gotta so milk that. I That's thought it was him when I came in. I was like, oh, Brandon's here. Oh, That's no. cool. Yeah. So, Maybe oh, hey, man. if you want to invite me up to do like when we were young or whatever, you know, Mr. Brightside, I'm, P- I'm available. The, I reckon the people will believe it out there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so the 2019 tour, it's uh, inspired by David Byrne, choreographed. This is uh, what is this oh, going to be tour. like? Your tour, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, now you, I, I guess you saw his minimalist tour, which was amazing, by the way. I actually didn't see it. Okay, but I heard a lot about it, and um, and I kind of read about it and how special it was because of like the nature of what it was, and um, yeah, I mean we're gonna we're gonna have some um, extra kind of people hanging around with us on stage and doing things and performing in okay. uh, playing instruments, which is kind of the main thing, and then kind of performing in in artistic ways. That right. look cool, <laughs> but yeah, we wanted to kind of do something that's a bit more, um, uh, you know, the focus is on the stage and what's happening on the stage rather than just a big video screen of like, you know, some movie that you've made for that s- particular song, you know, because we feel like we've been doing that kind of thing for a long time and every band does that, you yeah. know. So to make it some, I mean, we, we haven't started rehearsing yet or figuring it out, but to make it just more about the performance so people really stare at what we're doing on stage rather than, you know, looking at a Cinema screen. Excellent. All idea. right, what are you guys doing for the... Uh, are you guys get yourself, uh, get each other gifts yet? Secret Santas, maybe? A lot of other bands. <laughs> yeah, Death Death Cab, like, Death wouldn't Cab. tell us. It was really? like a big top yeah. secret, Man. yeah. Yeah. Um, no, we haven't. No, we're pretty bad at You're getting like, each no, other gifts. You're like, no, we kiss. haven't. I'm not going to. <laughs> no, because we're, we're English. We're like, it's like, you know, someone's birthday, and it's like, all right, mate, happy birthday. Yeah. And like, you know, like a, a slap on the back. Birthdays <laughs> suck in England. <laughs> I wouldn't want it. You heard it here first. (laughs) 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 Give me something. Thank you. Uh, Adam from uh, Amuse, thanks for coming by. Oh, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Have a great show. All 92.3.